we're keeping an eye on what's going on in uh, Central America. We've got Hurricane Iota still a category one as it is inland at this point. Again, keep in mind just two weeks ago or less than we saw it as a category four Ada making landfall in the exact same area. Then this Iota coming in as a category five, the 30th named storm we've seen this season just wreaking havoc on this area. They've already seen over 40 inches of rain with Ada alone. Now you've got a category five hurricane still a hurricane as it's pretty far inland with 85 mile per hour sustained winds. Again, that will continue to impact the area, unfortunately, through the middle of the week. Hopefully it heads back out to sea and that's where it ends, but we'll keep an eye on it. Now back at home, not much going on here as far as rain is concerned, and I don't expect to see it for a while. In fact, it's going to be pretty dry for us. Not only is it dry, our humidity is very low. We have a little cold front that came through. We have a, a high pressure that's going to continue to build as well, and that's a good weather maker. Sunshine, dry skies, and you usually a warm up. Now the cold front set us back a few degrees, but that high pressure will help us get them back up and going as we head towards the end of the week. So currently this is what it feels like 39 in Memphis, 33 in Corinth, 40 in Dyersburg, 33 in Clarksdale. So all around we're anywhere from the low 30s into the low 40s. So about a 10 degree spread here. It is chilly regardless of where you live. So just make sure that you're prepared for that as you head out today. Otherwise, just nice and sunny all day long. We may see a fair weather cloud here and there but for the most part, it's going to be again beautiful and sunny. That'll help us get our temperatures up a little bit. 52 around 9 o'clock. We will struggle to get to the 60s this afternoon. A lot of us will stay in the 50s. And then once the sun sets, it's going to be a cold night for us. So be prepared as we head to the 30s overnight. So here's your high 61 with a low of 38. We are very close to our average high, but we are a little off from our average low. If we're at 38 here in Memphis, that means a lot of areas outside, you're probably going to be in the mid to low 30s, uh, close to freezing. So keep that in mind as well. Thankfully, nowhere near these records. You can see 17 degrees back in 1880. No, thank you. No rain either, uh, but we will see sunset at 453. Now we do have a red flag uh, warning possibility. Not yet. It's just that we could see uh, because the low humidity and the winds and dry air uh, fires are a possibility. So that's something we have to watch for, but not necessarily issued yet, but it will be watching for that through about Thursday as we start to see temperatures climbing. Then we get into the 70s this week. It really looks nice, cloudy a little bit, but we start to see a, a strong cold front. Welcome to secondary severe season Sunday that brings us up to a 40% chance of rain and storms and drops our temperatures significantly. So we'll watch for that and keep you up to date on air and online. As far as thankful thoughts, this is for David Daler. He said he's very thankful for fall colors. Beautiful picture that he sent in as well. He always takes the greatest pictures and is always so kind to send those in. And you can share your pictures or your thankful thoughts, whatever it may be, on our local 24 app. Just download it and click share it and it walks you right through the steps.